I've always wanted to be a teacher since I was a junior in high school. I've only wanted to teach band, to be able to pass my passion along to others. And I've often wondered how did it all start? Who found that that nothing can capture a heart like a melody can? Well, whoever it was, I'm a fan. So I say thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? I ask in all honesty. What would life be without a song or a dance? What are we? So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me. I met Dave Syme uh, when he was a student at Willamette University and he asked to uh, see if he could student teach with me. Yeah, I screened my student teachers pretty carefully. I didn't just accept anybody and I met with him and uh, I thought he's a nice kid and he seems bright and I was assured he was a good musician so um, I took him on as a student teacher. I wasn't totally sure he was really going to be, go on and become a teacher. He was, uh, he was, you know, he showed up, did the gig, did a good job, kids liked him, but I really didn't know if he'd, if he'd really, you know, go on and, and, and actually teach. I couldn't quite get that from him. You never know when you have student teachers what's going to happen. Dave took his first job in Iona, Oregon in 1982, and there were seven students in the high school band. He coached JV basketball, and luckily, I guess, there were more students in the, high, in the middle school band, so the middle school actually played at the football games and at the basketball games. Um, one thing I remember is I was always very grateful that we were in own. It started with the letter I, so that was the only formation they had to make at football games. Um, it was a great start to a great career. And Lakeview was our next stop. He taught there for two years, and he did um, elementary band through high school band. And, um, they were the Lakeview Honkers, and that introduced him to being in the same league as the Redmond schools. And thinking about going back to Redmond, I was the one that was apprehensive to go back. Dave wanted to go back, and he applied for the job and was given a job at Obsidian Middle School. Um, and he taught there for three years before he was moved to the high school. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what 
but it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Thank you for being a friend Travel down a road and back again Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant I'm not ashamed to say I hope it always will stay this way retirement treats you really well and I just want to say and probably speak on behalf of most of the students that you tortured I mean taught throughout the years that that you are a major part of our success in our music careers so thank you very much Dave I'm really grateful for my experiences in the in the Redmond band program and especially the great educator I had in, in Dave Syme um, Dave you ran a well-rounded program. It was a family atmosphere. I felt like I belonged, and that is something that I've tried to replicate here at West Ranch. And um, so much of what I do, I model after you, and I'm so grateful um, to have you as a, as a mentor. And I, I didn't realize it at the time, but just what a great music educator you were. Um, and I try to emulate you every day. So I know I haven't seen you in a long time, but thank you for what you did for all of us um, and for me. And congratulations on your retirement. When I was in middle and high school, um, what I saw from Dave and what I experienced in his rooms and what I always felt when I was around him or any other band students um, was just that I had a place where I was supposed to be, that I loved being, so I felt like I had a place that I belonged. So Dave helping me feel that way in all of his classrooms reminds me, helps me remember how important that is, that feeling is to instill in students. I have a lot of memories of high school and none of them are in the English classroom or the math classroom. They're all involved with the music classroom, going to Allstate and to Honor Band and All Northwest and the opportunities that were provided by Dave, those are the things that I remember in high school and 
that I look back to, and those are the opportunities that I want kids to have. So being back, now it feels normal now. I feel like I'm home. Like I come back, I come into the room every morning, and it feels fine. It's like this is where I'm supposed to be. And but every day I drive to the same room. Got the old high school banner. I like the fact that I was taught by Larry Graves, and I worked with Dave Sive, and so I have the whole traditions and establishment of what they envision, and now I can keep on doing the same thing.
pleasure to watch him grow throughout his career into one of the top band directors in the state, a wonderful person. It's been amazing to watch him grow and his bands grow. Um, the thing that I probably am most proud of is in the time and effort that he puts in to his job. Um, he is a better teacher now than he was two years yeah, ago, than he was four years ago, than he was six years and ago. So I and Dave, I'm very proud of you for working your hardest till the very end. Love you. My friend, I'll make it clear, I'll state my case, of which I am certain. I've lived a life that's full, traveled each and every highway, and more, much more than this. I did it my way Regrets I had a few But then again Too few to mention I did uh, what I had to do I saw it through Without exemption I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Yes, there were times I guess you knew when I bit off much more than I could chew But with it all, when there was doubt I ate it up, then spit it out I grew tall in spite of it all And did it my I had my fill, my share of losing And now as tears subside I find it's all quite amusing To think I did all that And may I say Not in a shy No, no There's a man, what has he got? If not himself, then he has not to say the things he truly feels and not the words of one who kneels. The record shows I took the blows and I've always wanted to be a teacher.